Hey guys, I want to take you along with me today. We're going to visit Peter Steele from Typo Negative's gravesite, which is located in New York. So I literally don't know where I'm going. I'm kind of guessing. I had like a map to look at that says it's like down on the left here somewhere, but I'm like not exactly sure where. So we're gonna try to figure this out. So I kind of made a little rock for him. It says love and miss you green man. It has typo negative symbol on it. And on the back I just put like my name and the date today. I wish I had something more to bring, but I kind of just forgot to bring anything. I haven't found it yet. I'm just walking up and down the rows. It said it's in section 47. So from what I saw online. So I'm in section 47, but I haven't seen it. I'm just kind of walking up and down. It's like it's a really big cemetery, so I'm kind of just going up and down the aisles and then just looking around. Alright guys, I found it. I was losing hope of finding it because I was walking up and down and I was like, oh my god, I'm in the right area. And then I saw the typo negative symbol, the green and black roses, and I knew it was the right spot. I knew what the headstone looked like um, with his parents' names on it. And here he is, obviously. All different types of like pumpkins, rosaries. Here's some more pumpkin stuff, rocks, guitar picks, that's awesome. A Salem pin. Oh, look at this that somebody made. Isn't that so cute? It's like a typo negative. Like, it looks like a beetle or something like that. I figured I would just sit here for a little bit and maybe put on some typo music quietly and just listen for a little bit. Typo negative is like one of my all time favorite bands. Um, one of these days, I want to get a typo negative tattoo at some point. I just love Peter Steele's voice. Their music was amazing. It was just so unique. It was, I just feel like you couldn't compare it to anything else. And the, their lyrics and everything were always just so like, either angry or, or, you know, depressing. And I just, I listen to their music so often. And I, it, it just, it's awful to think that like, there'll never be any new typo negative music because and I don't blame the band, they just didn't want to carry on without him. And rightfully so, because you can't replace Peter Steele. There's just like no way. Oh, it's kind of warm out today, um, but not too bad. I wore my like Halloween uh, leggings for him. And I had, I had a, um, like a green man necklace I was gonna wear and I can't find it. I don't know what I do with it. But I painted my nails like neon green. I wore a green eyeshadow. Um, a moon necklace because I love that song, um, Wolf Moon. So here we are, guys. I'm so happy. So happy you guys came along with me. Probably just gonna chill for a little bit, like I said. And um, maybe I'll show you like um, the grave like one more time and stuff. So yeah. I'm gonna put my little rock here with the rest of the rock collection. I hope it lasts and doesn't get like blown off or something. I'll put it right here with the other typo negative one. Oh, I'm so sad. I just feel ugh. it's like I wish I could have met him. Like I'd seen him them perform a concert like at least three times and I don't know. I don't want to be disrespectful moving this, but I kinda wanted to get a good shot of his name. I'm just it's just sad that you know You'll never get to hear any more type of negative music. As you can see, it's a pretty large cemetery. There's different sections all over the place.
You know what's so crazy that just happened? I was sitting here, I had typo negative music on. I was about to like just chill a little bit then leave. And like, I was just like really thinking about him, like that he's here, you know what I mean? Like his soul is here and actually like physically his remains are here. And this little like beetle that was like black and orange landed on my knee and sat there for a second then flew away. And like all I could think was like Halloween colors, orange and black, and that maybe he like knew I was here. I know it sounds cheesy, but I was like, oh, I'm like I just really thought that was like a really um, cool little experience. So like I said, I'm just gonna listen to a little bit of typo and sit here for a bit, just think about the band, think about Peter, um, and then be heading out. But thank you guys so much for coming with me to find uh, Peter Steele's grave and to remember him, remember the great music that he made and that, you know, life is short and if possible, you want to leave a good impression on this earth, um, a positive impression, you know, I feel like, yeah, he had his um, problems, his depression, his substance abuse but he shared himself with the world I feel like open, opening yourself up to people and sharing what's like the deepest darkest parts of your soul with people through music is like one of the most amazing things that you can do so yeah let's say farewell to Peter together and again thank you guys so much for coming with me love you guys